Hey Gemini, this is going to be your reading for October 17th through 23rd. Um, I did try to do you guys reading before you and Aries and I think, you know, I just have a hard time with Gemini Aries because Aries is my sun and Gemini is my rising. And I started to do it and I got like five cards into it and I was just stuck, just stuck. And it was like, I just couldn't. And, um, so I, I changed decks. So we're gonna, we're gonna try with the gilded here, but, um, of course, these readings are general readings. They're not going to resonate for everyone. So if you need a personal reading, you guys can hit me up on my email account, which is listed in the description box below. And we can talk about, you know, what it is that you actually need, okay? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Gemini. What, is, what do Geminis need to know, Lord God? For October 17th through 23rd. Please show me. Please show me what Gemini. This one first. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. I think I pulled this for you when I initially tried to do the reading as well. And balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Power. Balance. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. I feel like I pulled this one too. If not for you, it's for one of the other signs, but I did pull this card. We're all just souls here having a human experience. We are one, we are love, and we have to, you know, wake up and realize that all right guys let's see what gemini's need to know for october 17th through the 23rd gemini Bye, gems. All right. One more shuffle, you guys. We'll get started here. All right. Cut this deck here. And we have under the bottom of the deck, Will of Fortune. That will is trying to turn in your favor. Propel you to go forward. We have the Queen of Pentacles, standing your power, abundance, intuitive, five of cups. Hmm, somebody needing balance for sure. Crying over spilled milk. Things that are no longer. Might have won. Starting something creatively, passionately. And the Queen of Cups, huh? Gemini's. No swords here. But I feel like this Queen of Cups has her back turned. Whether it's you or whether um, it's the other person. But somebody that has Earth and fire in their chart. Let me let me say this first cuz this is this is immediately what I see. Whoever this queen of pentacles is, whether it's you or or your partner or um the person that you're connecting with, is feeling very regretful. Feeling very regretful about something. And I'm not sure whether it has to do with, you know, your connection or whether it's for something else. 
But I also see this fire sign here, and it could be somebody totally different. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, that's trying to come in. Now, if this is a new person, be, you know, use your, your good judgment now because Knight of Wands is somebody that dips in and dips out, whether it's sexually, whether it's like, you know, what they invest in a relationship is like, they, they don't really, they're not really still, they're not really grounded. They, you know, are there to, you know, for whatever purpose they came in for, they get what they need and then they're out. So just kind of be leery of that, okay? If that's somebody new. If this is the person from the past that has fire and water in their chart, this earth sign, this somebody that has earth, water, fire in their chart. They are feeling really regretful. And I feel like they want to come in. I feel like they want to come in. I'm just not sure if they're stable enough to present something to you that has some substance to it. Because it seems like they're really kind of, um, you know, in their feelings. They may, you know they may come across as the knight of wands because when somebody is really in their feelings you know you can say something and being that they're so on edge already that you know they'll turn around and leave they they'll feel like okay i knew she wasn't or i knew he wasn't gonna give me a chance anyway you know so that that that's the kind of feeling i have here aquarius The lovers. There you are, Jen. Leo. Sexual energy. Sexual energy here. Somebody is, somebody is keeping themselves like they don't want to think about this connection is what I feel right here with the lovers in the strength card. And I feel like this Queen of Cups is the person. And this could be, this could be you, Gems. Or this can be the other person. Of course, the energies go, you know, vice versa as well. But this person, this Queen of Cups person, um, is not really is looking at this connection but it's like they're keeping themselves from actually excuse me investing involving themselves in it for whatever happened in the past um, but this person over here with the five of cups person the knight of wands person is really they're really concentrating on this connection and i feel like they're moving out of this five of cups energy and moving you know into a better you know place mentally here but both of you guys are thinking about this connection Somebody is like fighting against, not really fighting against the connection, but like they're, they're trying to maintain their composure almost here. Yeah, this person is really, something happened in the past, but... <clears throat> This person, this Queen of Cups person, is really, you know, trying to gain her strength back. To, because I feel like this person has been carrying the burden and feels like they've carried the burden of this relationship. Um, and so they're ready to, to, to put it down. 
they're they're ready to put it down. And I feel like for both of you, it 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 feels like you know it was it was a heavy relationship. Maybe there was a lot of um, you know bickering and fighting and you know disagreements here. But I feel like somebody else is willing to bear the burden. I I really feel like that. One or both of you. Like, you know, somebody's trying to, you know, lay the burden down. But I, but also, this may be, you know, going forward in the relationship, picking it up again. Because Six of Swords and Strength card, they're facing each other. And the Lover's card is in the middle. And I feel like you both are going to come together and work out the, the kinks. I feel like here. And you're being guided to do so. I feel like this is going to be a balanced union when you when you guys do come back together. Um if you come back together, there's there's a call, there's a need for you guys to be balanced in this situation, like get your emotions together, you know, don't come off hot tempered, listen to each other, talk to each other. Um and as it sits right in line with balance up here and i feel like if you can do that once you guys do that this is this is going to be a, like a beautiful connection here okay gemini so that is your reading for um october 17th through the 23rd and i will be speaking with you guys soon bye for now